What's going on everyone? I am still alive. Ever since we moved to Alaska, I haven't had much time to do any video work. If you're interested, here's a link to the video I made of our road trip from New York to Alaska. We are still trying to settle in, but I found some time to put this video together. Uh, we're going to be replacing the fuel filters in our 2008 F-250 diesel. The 6.4 diesel engine has two fuel filters, one on the frame and the other under the hood. To remove the filters, you will need 24mm and 36mm sockets, as well as a container to drain the fuel into. First, you will need to drain the fuel in the water from the pump using the water separator drain valve. It is located on the inside of the frame, below the front of the driver's door. Once that's drained, you'll need the 36mm socket to remove the filter cap on the back of the pump. The rubber seal is holding it on there pretty good, but take your time and it will come off. Here are the old and new filters. I'm not sure how long it's been since that was changed, but I think it's time. Notice how these lower filters have tan or white plastic ends. Make sure you use the correct filter because the top and the bottom filters are different. Something I noticed was the cap was full of sludge and gunk. Once the cap is clean, you can install the new filter in the cap with the new rubber o-ring. This cap gets torqued to 25 newton meters. At this point you can close the water separator drain valve. Now let's move on to the second filter. This filter is on top of the engine right by the oil filter. This cap requires the 24mm socket. If you are paying attention, the cap for the top fuel filter says that it should be tightened to 27 newton meters. The instructions that I found and used uh, say that this cap should be torqued to 14 newton meters. I've already driven over 10,000 miles uh, following the instructions that I found and I have not had any fuel leaks. So I will let you guys decide whether to torque it to 14 or 29. Uh, I was kind of afraid to go to 29 that I might crack the cap. As of right now, over 10,000 miles on the fuel filter, I have not had any leaks uh, torquing it to 14 newton meters. Once the cap is loose, carefully pull out the filter. Be careful because the bowl is gonna be full of fuel. You can take this fuel out if you want. I left it in there. But go ahead and check and clean the cap and then you can install the new filter. This cap gets torqued to 14 newton meters. Be careful not to over tighten the caps as they are plastic and they can crack. Now that the filters are changed, we're almost done. Before we can start the truck, we need to prime the fuel system. This is done by cycling the key to the on position and keeping it there for 30 seconds. You'll want to cycle about five times each time for 30 seconds. This will make sure that there is no air in the fuel system and the truck can start smoothly. And that's it, not a very difficult job that people tend to overlook. It is recommended to change the fuel filters every 20,000 miles and drain the water separator every oil change. In the description below, I have included a link to a PDF detailing this process as well. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll try to get the next video out sooner rather than later.